Hi, everyone. Welcome to day two of the uh, Fibonacci and Elliott Wave 2022 conference uh, from Synergy Traders. Uh, this is brought to you by Trade Out Loud, Timing Research, and fxtradersedge.com. And uh, e I'm recording each of the presentations individually. And those will be available on timingresearch.com and the Timing Research YouTube channel as soon as I can get the processed. And this event is for educational purposes only. And uh, um, and first up, we have uh, Todd Todd Horowitz, and I'm going to go ahead and turn over to him. All right. Well, great. Well, it's great to be here. And thanks, Anna. And thanks, David. And thanks everybody who put put this thing together. It's always great to be a part of an educational event in different ways that we all do different things. And uh, what's up, everybody? Great to be here. And uh, Today, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Day Trader's Dream, okay, which is an algorithm system that we use. It's one of the uh, many models that I personally trade myself uh, and have done so for quite a long time, which I'll show you in my introduction. Uh, but uh, again, there's a, there's a lot of ways to, as they say, skin a cat. And it's, it's about you know, discipline and patience and understanding what you're trying to do and being planned properly to do what you want. So anyways, Day Trader's Dream is, is something that we've been uh, using for about uh, six or seven months, and it's been you know, a nice, a nice, easy program, and it's something that I want to share with everybody. It's got to do with a lot of things that I do personally with my algorithms and everything else. So let us get started. And, uh, you know, it's one of the things is, is always interesting about those who are involved in the trading world and trading itself. If winning trades give you a buzz and losing trades make you depressed, you belong in a casino. And, and, you know, you may laugh at that, but, you know, this is a business, you know, trading is a business that that's what this is not a casino. It's not a place to gamble. It's not a place to get rich. It's a place to grind out money, grind out a profit, grind out a living, grind out extra money, whatever you're using trading for. OK, you're using you. You don't you want to remain, as we like to say, even keel. You, you don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. You have to understand that there's good days and there's bad days, and it happens. It's part of, it's part of the business. And if you look at trading as a game, which it really is, because it's a game of probability, it's a mathematical model. And if you are a game player, the major games that I talk about would be bridge, poker, backgammon, and gin. Those are mathematical certainty games that the better player won't win every time, but will win overtime. And that's what trading is about. It's about being in the best position and being prepared to win over time. So in the meantime, before we actually get started, obviously I have to always share the disclaimer. I'm sure you'll see, I'm sure you saw it yesterday and I'm sure you'll see it a bunch more today. And it is the past results or whatever are not indicative of the future. And you know, there are losses that can happen in trading. And one of the things I will warn you in just general is that just always be disciplined enough and prepared enough not to overinvest yourself or overextend into any market, no matter what you think, no matter what the promises are, make sure that you are trading in a size that you are comfortable with, that when you hit head to pillow, you won't worry about what happened that day before. Okay. And that's where I talk about drawdowns. Look, I don't care in in what business you're in from trading what i don't care how you're trading there is no way to avoid a drawdown they happen they are part of the business they are a natural part now the beautiful thing about drawdowns is they can be used to your advantage at the same time okay and that is something that we work on one of the skills we work on as we get deeper into you know our models but at the end of the day if you've made some good money and you go into a drawdown and you know what your win percentage is, then you know when it's time to press your portfolio. And we're big believers of organic growth. I don't want you to add money to press. I want you to have earned money, then go into a little bit of a drawdown, then says mathematically it's the proper time to add to my positions based on money I've earned, based on where we are in the equity curve. And, and going forward from there. And I think if you understand that, you can you use drawdowns to your advantage because they're going to happen, okay? Again, it's not something that, that can be avoided, all right? Now, 
If you don't know me, I am Todd Bubba Horowitz. I've been doing this for 44 years, 30, 30, 32 of it on the floor. Okay. Actually, a little bit longer, but the floor, the floor really dried up, dried up about 28 years in. Uh, and of course, now there's really no trading floor at all. Uh, but I've done, I have been a member of the uh, CBOE, which is where I started. Uh, I was a member of the uh, CME, which is which is now part of the Board of Trade, or the Board of Trade is part of the CME, and I am still currently a member of the Board of Trade. Okay, I was one of the original market makers in the SPX, which is obviously one of the most popular products today. And in 1982, uh, we had to create that product. Okay, we had to create the open interest and create the trade. And of course, I trade every recommendation that leaves my office. I am trading. I am there. I am right next to you involved in trading in that particular product so nothing goes out unless i'm in it with you and the beautiful thing is our executions all happen at the same time okay so there's never there's never an edge for me it's it's just what i'm going to trade and, and what i believe in and we don't look we're not looking for 30 seconds we're looking for extension and trades so anyways uh you know i've been doing this my whole life basically i'm 65 i've been doing it for 44 years so today we're going to talk about just the facts the BS we all must contend with, price discovery, manipulation, algorithmic trading, margin and leverage, the mental game of trading, futures and letter of direction trading in CTG, which is our partner on this product, uh, real results as of September 2nd, and how you can take advantage. And of course, I will answer any one of your trading questions that you have. Okay, That doesn't have to revolve around this. It can be anything you want. So I talk about just the facts. Look, I'm, gonna, I, I'm a straight shooter. Okay, I understand this business. I've, like I said, I've done it my whole life. I had, you know, I never trained anybody until ten years ago, except for people that worked for me, that were clerks that eventually wanted to become traders. Okay, and that's how that's how we, you know, built our own army of, of little traders running around. But in this business, there's a lot of bull BS that goes around, right? There's a lot of, you know, people that are making promises that cannot be kept. Okay. You know, 558%, 15,000%, 47,000%. Listen, that is as bunch of garbage as you can possibly get. Okay. I'm telling you that those are results are impossible. Okay. That, that you, if you're counting on that, then you're going to go broke. Okay. You're never going to get ahead by listening to the promises of making billions, okay? You, you can't turn 5,000 into 100,000 tomorrow. I mean, could it be done? Is it possible? Yeah, it's about, for every person who can do it, a million people are gonna lose $5,000, okay? Again, it does not work. This, is, this business is not conducive to that type of trading. So stay away from the promises of riches and learn from the people you're gonna learn from today that are gonna show you real systems that use methods, okay, that don't promise you the world that doesn't exist, okay? That's Fantasy Island. We don't live in Fantasy Island. We live in the real world, okay? So, you know, I think if you understand markets, and some do, some don't, but price discovery is a very big part of the markets. Price discovery is how markets function. That's how they determine where buys and sells take place. That's how we determine the, the trend in markets by, by watching price discovery. Okay, and and I think that you know you basically do price discovery every day. You know, when you go to the grocery store, you're doing a, a method of price discovery. Okay, I mean, again, you're buying a loaf of bread. You know, it's they're asking a dollar seventy nine. If you're willing to pay it, that's that you discover the right price. If you're if it's too expensive and you can buy it cheaper, you'll go to another store. The same things happen in markets. Okay, you know, stocks, futures, options, everything has to be determined by a price discovery mechanism where a buyer and a seller meet and the exchange of wealth takes place, okay? And again, you sell your house, you sell a car, whatever you're doing, you're always discovering price and it's worth what somebody's willing to pay and what somebody's willing to sell it for. So don't get caught up. You know, I get, I get, you know, I do a lot of writing and talking about gold and other, you know, everybody wants to talk about the manipulation of the, the precious metals markets and things like that. And I go, okay, fine, with one exception. Okay, there still has to be manipulation or not. There has to be another side of the trade. Okay. And if the other side of the trade is willing to continue to get manipulated against and pushed against, 
then they're eventually going to be out of business. So you cannot really truly manipulate a market for an extended period of time. And a very short period of time, yeah, you can, money can manipulate it for a very short period of time. In fact, myself, as a market maker, okay, no, knew when I was trading in the OEX pit, which at the time was the biggest options pit in the world, we could run the markets. We knew what to do. We knew how to trigger all the stops. We didn't know whose stops they were. But because people are somewhat lazy at how they set their stops, we knew what levels to run to to trigger them all and knowing the market was going to go back the other way anyways. But for an extension, a long period of time, markets cannot be overwhelmingly manipulated because, again, it goes back to the price discovery model. Okay, So if you remember that you know, trading is a game of numbers and a game of math, Okay, which is why algorithms actually do work. If you use the, the if you're using the proper information, okay, and and from a manual standpoint, when I'm trading, like I, I actually day trade, and normally at this time of day, I am day trading with my members on a four minute chart, okay, without an algorithm because I'm the algorithm because we're using what we call the phase of the market, but what we did is we wrote in all of my information, all my trading stuff that I've done for my entire life and put it into an algorithm and use it on various time frames. Okay. But it's all about numbers. It's all about the math. We call it the magic of the math of the market. Okay. Because again, if you've ever really paid attention, the markets repeat themselves over and over again. They do repeat from different levels, from different points, but over and over again, the same things happen. Markets consolidate, markets break out to a trend, markets have what they call a blow off or a panic. And I'll show you some of those patterns as we get through, because I'm sure we'll have a little bit of time here. But you, you first have to understand the margin and leverage that you're using. Okay. And every market offers uh, different versions of the same thing. Uh, but in the futures market, which is where we're going to use this algorithm, okay, is, is by far gives you the most amount of ability to have a lot of leverage. Now, I don't, I'm not a big fan of over leverage. And I will always warn you that you, you don't want to over leverage yourself because over leverage is great when you're making money, but it's pretty painful when you start to go bad and you start to go into a drawdown. So you have, but you have to understand it, what your margin costs are, what your leverage, how much you're actually leveraging against. Okay because there is a, a, a strict correlation between everything and what you, what you can only do by being over leveraged is by putting yourself in jeopardy, okay? And you don't, again, the key to successful trading in general, successful investing is to be comfortable and know that when it's time to go to bed, you can turn off and not worry about what happened during that trading day. And, and that's where people get themselves in the trouble, they trade way too big for the amount of money that they have, which is why we also will, will assign how much you need to be comfortable. Okay. But we're going to use margin trading. Okay. As we trade, because of course, in the futures market, okay, they offer day trading margins, which is what really makes us work because we don't carry in this particular model, we don't carry any positions overnight. Okay. We only trade during the day. So you get special day trading margins, okay, which are lower than overnight margins, obviously, because what's what's the what 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 can happen overnight that doesn't happen during the day as a rule? Anybody want to take a shot at that one? Okay, well, what happens overnight sometimes is some some big news, something around the globe happens that has a direct effect. And of course we don't, uh, we're, our markets are closed. We're not really closed, but we're sleeping or whatever. So again, it's always, you, you can get better advantages, which means you can make better use of your capital during the day, okay? Now the game, which I talked about this a little earlier, but it's a, it's a mental game, okay? It's a mathematical game. It's a numbers game because there are games that have assigned skill, okay? Now, obviously, if you play chess, chess is a game that the better player is always going to win, okay? 
trading is a game that you have to be able to understand what your percentages are. And if you're, you know, whatever, whatever your win rate is, is how you determine the sizing of your trading. Okay. And when to press and when to add to your positions to when to increase. And that's again, so we have to understand what our win percentage is, where we are and, and what our expectation, you know, obviously we want to win on every trade, but we know that's not going to be the fact. In fact, we had a trade this morning in gold. We got stopped out of it. Okay. But at the end of the day, it's not one trade. It's, it's the lump sum and total of all the trades that puts you in a position again, that, that, that keep you mentally sane. Okay. Disciplined and patient knowing that the numbers will work in your favor. And that's what's known as we call it gaming the market. Okay. And this is where, you know, I talk about investing in yourself. Okay. And there's, like I said, you're going to see, you saw a lot of great presentations yesterday. I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to see a lot of great ones today. And it just depends on what makes you comfortable and where you want to be. But I'm a big advocate. If you're going to be active in the market, if you're going to day trade the market, that futures are by far the best option. Okay. Because futures have a dramatic amount of leverage. Okay. Without a lot of the the things that go along with other products that we may trade, okay? The future markets are much more liquid. Commissions and execution costs are much lower, okay? Futures are more fair and they're more efficient. You know, again, if, you, if you've traded options before, and listen, I'm, I'm an options trader by trade. That was, my, that was my first foray. But when you're trying to day trade, Okay, you get affected by a, a much bigger bid offer spread that you're giving up too much of an advantage during the day. You've got too many other issues that go along with this. You just have to be careful. Okay, you can short, you can buy or sell. Short selling is much easier in a in a futures market. Okay, you get day trading margins, and the biggest thing is there's no FINRA day trading. Okay, you can you can trade with five thousand dollars all day long. Okay, you can trade millions of dollars throughout the day with 5,000. And, you know, again, there's days, there's days I can trade, you know, if it's busy, I might make 500 trades in a single day myself. So that's not nothing to do with the system, but I'm just saying that you never have to worry about FINRA and the day trading rules that come out. Okay. And then auto trading. Okay. Which is, this is going to be, this is what we call a letter of direction product. Okay. Which our partner, which was CD, CTG, Everything is automated. It's an automated system that minimizes your emotions throughout the process. It, it saves you, it saves your discipline. It's diversifying your trading. It avoids any mechanical failures you might have. Okay, you've got somebody monitoring trades for you. You never miss a trade and you don't have the same temptation that too many of us have to cherry pick trades, right? We, unfortunately, too many of us have the, 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 the position of putting our opinion in play. Okay. Now our opinion is worthless, mine included. And I, and I do a lot of TV work and I have an opinion, right? But when it comes to the trading, when it comes to machines, when it comes to what we're doing day to day, opinions are worthless. Okay. I mean, who, who would believe that the markets could have actually rallied as much as they did with the current conditions. So again, you don't want to cherry pick trades. If you're going to trade a mechanical system, you take them all. Okay. Now, Algorithmic trading or algo trading, okay, you have a, a clear strategy and a plan, okay? Everything is pre-programmed. All of our rules, there's, there is no human intervention in what we do. Everything is totally automated, almost as if we were high-frequency traders. And just to, just to rebut the high-frequency uh, story that many of you keep hearing if you watch the media, okay, that is a bunch of BS, high-frequency traders, have no effect on the market. What high frequency traders really are is their electronic market makers, okay? They don't drive the market down or they don't drive the market up. They are strictly trading billions of shares for fractions of pennies, okay? And that's what they really do. That's, that's, that's why there's no more market makers because they figure out a way to do it electronically, okay? And high, with high frequency, which is you should thank them for making those because they're they're the ones who break your commissions down to very a very minute amount compared to what they used to be okay so again it's it, it's a very complex math formula but it's, again it's it, it does it and it works okay but short-term fluctuations that's you know obviously 
that is something that that many people have trouble dealing with. Uh, but again, if you're going to have trouble dealing with, then you're probably not. Then day trading is probably not for you. You know, every day is not going to be a winner. I promise. Okay, I'd like to say it would be, but I can tell you it not. You have to understand the the statistics of the model you're trading. Very similar to markets in general. If you're an investor, okay, you markets go up eight and a half percent year over year. They don't go up every year, but on average. They have been up eight and a half percent from the beginning. So if you know that your 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 probability is sixty six percent win percentage, then you have to play the numbers, not your opinion, and you can't let the short term views hurt you or penalize you mentally because you'll make you'll make a mistake. Okay, so the day trading regime automation, the, the system trades the pit hour hours only. Now that's kind of a ridiculous statement, right? There's no more pits, but if the facts are is that all of the volume still occurs during what used to be the original pit hours, okay? And that means like the currencies, the euro currency and the, 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 the yen and, and pound and those, they open up, at, they used to open up at eight o'clock Eastern, actually 8.20 Eastern time, okay? Gold, eight o'clock Eastern time, crude oil, nine o'clock Eastern time, the indexes, a 9.30 Eastern time. So we make no trades until those pits were actually open because we want to be where there was liquidity and volume. So no trade is entered before eight o'clock Eastern, no trade is, is or, or after 3 p.m., okay? And as each market closes down, if we have a position, so the currencies close at three Eastern, once they close, if we have a position, we close that position no matter what, okay? that all the trades are done in block orders. Everybody gets the exact same fill, okay? Day trader, we use micros or minis because we've got two versions, a bigger and a smaller version. And all the trades are executed by Capital Trading Group, okay, which is based in Chicago, okay? Now, again, we can, we can accommodate worldwide, including Canada, which is always a problem for many, okay? Because Canada has been, you know, it's taken me, 10 years to get some 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 decent pricing through Canada okay so we can we can trade anywhere in the world okay and and handle this system for you and it's really good for those of you who are on a real odd scale of time when you're when you're usually sleeping when our markets are open okay these are what the results through September 2nd now you get this spreadsheet every Saturday it's a full spreadsheet obviously I couldn't copy and paste it all here Okay, but we go through this and it shows you day by day and actually you get updated day by day, plus the fact that you have your own portal you can look at, okay? You'll see the trades. The only, that, that the only problem you'll have during the day is because everybody gets the same fill and because we will take off portions of the trade. Like for example, I'll give you just a, just a quick general example, okay? The, the system uses hourly an hourly algorithm to get with the trend, okay? If a trade occurs, Okay, we then use the average true range or the ATR to take off profits. We take off 25% at one average true range move higher. We take off another 25% at another range higher. And then we move our stop to break even. Okay, and then let the trade run. Okay, now on the downside, on a stop, we're going to use, we use a shorter algorithm because we don't want to be totally exposed. And we use a 30 minute algorithm to, to set the stop. Okay. So again, we're, we're monitoring and managing risk at all times because obviously this is a risk business. It's a money business, it's a, it's a money denominated business. So these are both the two different models we have. We have a regular we call and we have an aggressive. Okay. And all these results are including fees and commissions. Now, the, the regular or the standard. Okay, is it needs a ten thousand dollar account? Okay, and it and currently this is here's the equity curve for this. Okay, and it's obviously working the way it should: lower left, upper right. It's had a little bit of a drawdown since it peaked, and of course this would be a spot if we had been if we had doubled our profits, we would have actually been looking to press, but we have not done so yet. So we'd be just continuing to trade it. But again, it's a very conservative model that trades you know a number of different products all on the micros, okay? And this is micros only, 
because that's what the, the 10,000 covers and it covers all your margins. And even if you were in every position, which we've never happened, but if you were in everything at one time, you have plenty of money still to cover. Okay. But again, it's a grinded out profit process that is not going to get rich tomorrow. It's it's going to get you rich over time if you stick through it and follow all the rules. Okay. It takes time to build. It takes time to be able to press. It takes time to be able to get into the, to, to get your position bigger by organically growing your account, not by putting in all of your bullets at one time. And, and I'm a big stickler for that. I always tell everybody, whatever you're doing, always start with the minimum. You don't have to fire up from day one. There's If, if we're right, then it's always going to work. Okay. And this is an actual results that, that get, get sent out. Every, every month, these are looked at and put together and then completely audit, audited and set out to you so you can see the exact results of every month. Okay. And then we have our aggressive fund, which uses minis for the most part. Okay. And it's, it's obviously it's 10 times the return because it's, it's the products are 10 times the size. Okay. And it's a, it takes 30,000 for an account to cover all possible margins. If you happen to be in all the positions. And again, obviously the equity curve is exa almost exactly the same. And again, the difference is the size of the trade that you're trading. You know, a micro S and P is a dollar twenty five. A mini S and P is twelve fifty a tick. So, it's using all these tools, okay, and and using the money at, to the best ability to give you the highest probability of return. Okay, and here's of course the aggressive gets a separate result as well. Now, what is letter of direction or auto trading? Okay, letter of direction trading is very simple. It is. We are you are signing a document that gives a clearing firm permission to trade this model only. Okay, nothing else. This model only, exactly to the rules of this model. Okay, all trades are executed on your behalf. Okay, and you, as I said, you everybody gets the same fill. You have you you have complete control of your account. Nobody can trade anything other than exactly what the model calls for. Okay. You can stop when you want. You can add, you can take your money out. You can do whatever you want. You are in total control. You're, all you are is assigning somebody permission to do one thing for you, which is to trade this system. Okay. And the benefits are you don't have any data fees to pay. Okay. You don't have any emotions, which we talked about. You maintain control over your account. Stop whenever you want. All clients receive the same price on every, every, every order. Okay. No pattern day trading restrictions. And of course, if, you're, if you've are if you ever traded futures before, rule 1256 for tax. Now to talk to your tax person, but futures are taxed at a better rate than anything else, okay? And if you trade the SPX, then they're taxed on the same basis. They're taxed like futures on the 60-40, okay? So it's also a tax savings on profits that you're making, okay? Now, as I said to you, we do, we do this with Capital Trading Group. Now, I've known these guys for 30 years. They were with Chicago Curve and Beige on the trading floor uh, way back in the day. Okay. But they founded Capital Trading Group in 2006. Okay. The two principals, Nell Sloan and Pat Lafferty, do the work. Okay. And they're, they're monitoring everything all the time. And they send out all the reports. They do all the stuff to make it happen. And of course, they've been partners for over 30 years. In institutional trading, which is a kind of what we're doing, we're, we're, we have our own institution, but they're by far, in this industry, the best futures broker that I've ever dealt with. Okay, because they they're there, they answer the phone. There's no voicemail to go through. If you ever if you ever have a problem, you can somebody's going to pick up the phone. You don't have to wait for someone to call you back. Okay, uh, again, sixty forty is, is is preferential tax treatment. No pattern day trader limits, no wash sales. Okay, but again, check with your accountant or your tax professional. Don't take my word for it. It's always important that you 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 confirm with everybody that that I'm giving you this straight story. I mean, I'm never going to lie to you. So I just but it, but it is important that you get the information from your tax professional. Okay, so what you got to do if you want to become a member, okay, is you open up with CTG. Okay, because the only way it can be done is if they're executing. Okay, because it's it, ha it happens too fast. 
And there was no way that I could get the information out to everybody once the trades hit. Okay. They do all the executions. Any live variances go across all clients. Okay. And you can see the trade once it completes. Okay. Now, sometimes there'll be a trade that'll show in your account that'll be partial. Okay. Because you can't, obviously, we can't put in fractions of a trade. But as we're, if we're exiting a trade and taking things off, then it's not going to show in full until at the end of the day when everything is clean. But at the end of the day, you'll get to see your exact results. You'll get to see exactly how you did for the day. Okay. And you'll have, there's, there's never any questions to do that. And you track your account through your own portal. Okay. You have a, 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 an access to your login, you're just like a regular account, you log in, you look, you can see your balances. Okay. You get 1099s, you get monthly, you get daily and monthly statements. Okay. You've got 24 seven access and it's, it's gives you the opportunity to participate in markets, but not be married or, or chained to what's going on minute to minute, day by day, second by second. This is going to happen every day, trading or not. Now, again, some, some days there's no trades. Okay. Last Thursday and Friday, we had no trades. Okay. Now, again, that, that's that, that's how disciplined that we are. There, there is no human element to this trade versus, you know, if I'm trading myself, like if I'm with my group right now, okay, and these are four-minute charts that you're seeing, okay? And if I'm looking at this right now, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, we'd be looking to get short the Dow, and very, but this is, this is a completely different model, okay? But this is the, the information that's inside of it. But because of what we call the blow-off pattern, okay, markets go into usually three basic phases, uh, which is consolidation or congestion, break out to a trend, and then they blow off. And blow-offs are, 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 are conduced by when, when there's no regard for price and time. And when you see these big spikes in volume and big spike in price, or conversely, the big down those are usually opportunities to go against or fade those markets. Okay. But what we're going to do with this is we then go to a shorter time frame to trigger. Like right now, if I was going to make any of these trades, none of them would be ready to be entered yet. I would need a confirmation off of my one minute. Okay. So like right now, so right now I'd be shorting the Dow. Okay. Right now I'd be shorting the, the NASDAQ and I would be setting my stop. My stop would be based on, the high of the move and and by a certain calculation that we use, but that would be something that we would be doing. And I would be doing this live with, with my members at this moment, except I'm here with you. So we're not doing it this morning, but again, it's, it's, it's to understand how the model works and how trading works, because this has a lot of similar components. Okay. To what we do in day traders dream, just as we, if we're looking at a, a daily chart, Okay, of anything because that's going to be the same thing. Remember, all markets are the same. Okay, all charts are the same. All patterns repeat themselves over and over again. Okay, and if you understand that, then you can take what you're doing and take it down to any time frame you want. It really more depends on how aggressive or how active that you personally want to be, and that's what you're looking at in 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 this standpoint. And in, in markets themselves is how do you, how prepared or how active do you want to be? So when we're using this model, okay, I want to be very active, okay? I want to trade, you know, this particular model gives me eight charts at four minutes, gives me 120 potential trades an hour if I want to, if, they're, if they appear. Now, I have to have certain specifics they have to trade and show, but that's, again, whereas this day trader's dream, we might make five or six or seven trades in a day. Okay. So again, everything is different based on what you're looking for. Okay. And what fits yours. Now, again, this is the beautiful thing about the, the dreamers is that you can do everything else you want at the same time. This is a completely separate, you're not touching it because you're, you can trade options during it if you, if you choose to, you can trade other futures if you want to. Now, again, I will warn you that the difference between futures and options are dramatic from a day trading perspective, okay? Because of implied volatility, right? You know, if you know what IV is, okay? It can expand and it can contract during the day. But the problem is, 
is that the bid offer spread, you're still giving up a dramatic amount of, of potential profit in the bid offer spread, no matter what you're trading, okay, in options versus futures. Futures bid offer spreads are one tick white, okay? And they are not affected by volatility. They are not affected by anything else, okay? They're strictly trading. They could be, they could trade faster. They could trade more actively, but they're not affected. So the, the, the formula for trading versus options, futures are always gonna be the same. Maybe here, I just flip over a, 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 a quick price ladder here. This is always gonna be one tick wide, basically, okay? That's five bucks, okay, in between ticks. That's not gonna change. No matter how fast we're moving, no matter what's going on, that part does not change, okay? And I think you have to understand that the big difference and the big advantage you're giving up, not to mention the potential FINRA day trading rule, if you don't have 25,000 in your account, and, and all the other things that go along with trading. And I think this is where you make a decision on, on how active and how you want to be as a investor trader, because these are the important things in, in the, the world of trading is the ability to be disciplined enough to follow a system, follow a method specifically. If you're trading on your own completely, then how to be disciplined enough and patient enough to wait for the setups that you're trying to send, which is exactly what the dreamers is, is it's waits for specific setups. And there, there's not necessarily going to be a trade. No matter what you see in the market, it doesn't mean there's going to be a trade. Uh, and, and I think that's something important for you to understand that there isn't always going to be a trade. And if we can do this ourselves, and I'm giving you this as a little bit of education for yourselves, know that you can't always force a trade. And if you start to force trades on your own, okay, into markets that aren't tradable, you're going to lose money. Okay. Now you're not here. You're not listening here to lose money. Okay. You're here with the opportunity trying to figure out ways to make money. Okay. But the, the flaws begin with inside. Okay. And I, I'm just, you know, again, I'm sharing stuff with you to make it so that whether you become a member of mine or not, I don't care. I want you to be successful for yourself. I don't want you to lose your money, you know, fr frivolously trying to be smarter than the market. I don't want you giving away things and giving away the advantages. This is why I share. And I trade all these products. I trade everything. Listen, I always tell everybody, if, 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 the, if they give me a liquid market and cockroaches, I trade those too. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I do the same thing in sports. Okay. Because again, it's, it's, I, play, I play poker, I bet sports, and I trade. Why? Because those are all three things that I can get an advantage on. And all I need is an edge. Okay. So you got to, you know, I want you to be able to enjoy your day and let the algorithm work for you. Sit back and relax and do your thing. Now, if you want to be more active, you know, I've, I've got all kinds of members, right? I've got, I've got members that are dreamers that trade with me every morning. Okay. I've got members that never look and they're, they, they're, they check once a week because they're, they're not watching the markets. They're out doing it. They got a job. Okay. Again, I don't, I'm not looking for you to be full-time. I'm looking for you to fit in with what you want to do. So if you'd like to join me and become a member with me, okay, this is how you can do it, okay? If you want to take advantage, you can, the day trading futures, okay, all executions are done by Capital Trading Group. They're all the same price. You have no overnight risk. All trades are predetermined by a proprietary algorithm. Okay, when they, when they show, they show, okay, no emotions, 15 people, the first 15 get, get it for $99 a month or $800 annually at bubbatrading.com forward slash dream. And of course, I will answer any of your questions that you have. And if it's about any, any type of trading you want, again, I've been doing this for so long, I forget what I don't know. Okay. You know, but it's bubbatrading.com forward slash dream. And again, any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer because I think it's important that you learn about trading, okay? You know, I try to learn something every day and I'm still learning about the markets after, even after 44 years, I'm still learning. So if you have any questions, you know, feel free to fire them in. Uh, and if not, I can just, I can tell you more things about markets, okay? I can do whatever, I, I ran a little faster than, than usual, okay? But 
you know, again, I just uh, want to make sure I give you as much information as I can and get it to you. Uh, but I will remind you just to always be disciplined. Uh, I will tell you never to panic. Okay. Again, no matter what's happening, if you panic, you lose. Okay. You know, if you've ever heard the statement, you know, in a, in a sales meeting, the first guy to speak loses or first gal to speak, the first person to speak, the same trade. If you, the first to panic always loses. Okay. Give yourself a chance. I urge you in the future, again, whether you become a member or not with me, I urge you to take a deep breath. If you're making a trade out of emotion, I urge you to take a deep breath first. Okay. 66% is our win ratio. Okay. 66% is our hit rate. Okay. And, uh, and, and it would, our worst, our worst product right now has been gold. Okay. For the last few months, because gold has been here. You want to see why? I mean, listen, I don't make excuses about anything. Okay. I give you facts here. Why has gold been tougher? Because it's been basically going nowhere. If I can find it, you know, I, I keep it. I keep using a special order for a certain call here. Gold has been going nowhere. And I even break it down to an hourly, which is what we're trading off of. Okay. Look at it. That's this is this is virtually almost impossible to make any real money off of. But you got to keep making you got to keep making the trades. Why? Because at the end of the day, you don't know which one's gonna be the winning trade. You don't know when it's gonna break out and run. Can you share a bit more about the algorithm? Well, I mean, it's an algorithm that, that I built. Okay. Uh, it uses a lot of, you know, mathematical calculations. It uses what I call the phases of the market. Okay. We're, I'm a big believer and always have been my entire career. Okay. Uh, that markets run in phases and they go, like I said, so if we get consolidation, okay, here, okay. And that's the market's going back and forth, right? False break out to the upside. That's part of it. It finally broke down to the downtrend. Okay, and it came back and confirmed right here. And then, of course, it has trended lower and trended lower and trended lower. And then it broke, it hit what we call the blow off pattern, which have been a buying opportunity for a short period of time. And there you go. Now it's going back again on this particular scale. But it doesn't matter what scale I'm looking at, but it's using all of my trading knowledge and all a lot of different mathematical calculations to read into the market. Okay, it takes no news into consideration because I don't believe in the news. News is garbage. Okay, and in today's world, especially, okay, the news is already priced in. Okay, don't don't ever think to yourself that you're going to beat the news. Okay, there is no way in in 1980, in my early days, there was a shot to potentially get ahead of news. Today, you have no chance with social media. And the way that things are calculated and the information that's put out there, you're never going to beat Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan. Okay. They are, they're paying millions of dollars a year, not for inside information, but for the information that's out there. They've got, you know, rocket scientists calculating, doing all the calculations that are done for those reports. That's why you see very few surprises. Okay. That's why the VIX index continues to, to hover, even though it's higher and unusual, but that's why it was hovering around 10 for quite a while is because there isn't that many surprises to markets anymore. You know, from a new, the only real surprise is something that would be what we would call a fundamental news bomb. Okay. So it uses something that I've used for basically myself mentally for over 40 years. Okay. We automated it through a number of different products about 10 years ago. Okay. And you know, we've got some overnight products that do the same thing, but anybody who, who, who comes today and signs up today, you will be joined. You'll be welcome to join me for one month of the live day trading with me every morning for the first hour. If you want, you know, again, you'll be invited. If you become a member today, you get one month free of, of also live trading with me if you choose to do so. Okay. Some people don't want to be that active. And again, it's, it's always up to you, the individual. I don't, I don't tell anybody what's right for them. Okay. I think that what's right for you is right for you. And I, I, I can teach you about any system that you want, as long as you tell me what your objectives are and, you know, what you're trying to do. And if you, you know, for me, for example, 
during the last few weeks, it's been so slow that I have a home in Chicago. I have a home in Vegas. I'm in Vegas now. Every day at 9.30, well, 930 I go out to the pool. That's the first time the sun hits my backyard. So I go out at 930. I'm out at the pool. I'm done because there's nothing for me to do. And I don't feel I don't feel like being involved. I know the algorithm is working for me. I don't have to sit there and watch that. OK, so I just want you to look again. Like I said, whether you become a member with me or not, I want you to become more proficient at your own trading. OK, again, you're going to hear a lot of great presentations. OK, but use learn that the discipline and patience okay is the most important skills you can get and never worry about missing a trade because there's always the next trade remember if what i tell you works it's going to work forever okay it's not one trade we we aren't dependent on one trade for the rest of our life we are dependent on a model that works over and over again that picks up these conditions and markets sometimes it's busier sometimes it's quiet and if you have the ability, whether you're trading, listen, there's days, okay, that, that I've traded this model, okay, we haven't made a trade. There's been days in an hour. Hey, look, if there's not a trade, I'm not making it. Okay, I have no, I've been doing this too long, okay? Do you pay the 99 if you send money for the fund? Well, it's not the fund. It's your, it's your own account. So, yes, it's not, it's my my fee is is ninety nine dollars a month. Your brokerage fees are just like other brokerage fees. Okay, they're paid. You know, you're 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 just like everybody else. Okay, and our results that I shared with you include fees and commissions. Okay, so our results are all within with fees and commissions priced in. Okay, so one thing, it's not a fund; it's your own account. That is being what they call letter of direction trading. Okay, this is not a CTA or or anything else. Again, you do you want you want to be wary of funds because when they have control, you've changed a little bit of the dynamics. The only thing that, that CTG can do here is trade the models exactly. The stop loss is based on a thirty minute algorithm. I don't I can't always say what it's going to be. It really depends on the speed of the market. Okay, and whatever else is going on. You ever adjust your algorithm to have optimize it or sit good? No, I don't. I don't change it. You know what? Uh, let me teach you one thing. Okay, I, teach, I can teach you many things. I've had enough time, but I can't chase the market and keep trying to adjust because the markets have done the same exact thing for 150 years. Okay, just at different prices, they've had the same patterns over and over again. If I keep trying to chase the market, I'm never going to get it. Okay, I don't adjust it. I mean, there may be a tweak on a on time frame or something from time to time. But as far as the actual algorithm, I've, I've been successful for 44 years. Why am I going to change now? Okay. Again, it, it, markets don't change. Okay. People change. Emotions change. The markets don't change. Okay. So, no, I, I don't look to try to tweak and do things. I, again, I think those of you who continue to chase the dream and keep trying to optimize you're always optimizing something that's old information because nobody can tell you what's going to happen in the future so you have to have something that you believe in and and i and i use when i'm trading here you can see my charts okay? when i'm trading i don't have there's not an indicator on my chart on any of my charts here is there any indicators there no why because they're indicators to me i don't need them i can read the phases of the market you can see my my drawings that's me drawing Okay, these are all my numbers that I'm playing with. I do a weekly call Monday nights. Okay, I'm going through this all by myself. I never use an indicator. To me, they're not worth anything. Okay, so again, you you, you have to um, you have to be prepared to handle it. Give or take, how much does the P and L fluctuate per ES mini? Um, I don't know. I, it's a it's a good question. I would say a couple hundred bucks. Okay. You know, I mean, it's not, we don't have dramatic risk in play. I mean, you know, obviously I don't have any open trades right now, but let me see if I, I can give you a quick example. I have to look at my, my big screen. Okay. Let's just say we were, we were in an S and P, which obviously if we were in, which we're not, but if we were in and we'd be long. Okay. 
and our stop in the S and P right now. That's the same way we bought it here. Our stop in the S and P right now would be thirty nine fourteen. Okay, and that's as it is right now. Thirty nine fourteen. It's trading at thirty nine twenty eight. Okay. However, if we keep going, that that the depending on now 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 speed and everything else comes into into play. Okay, speed of the market, you know that that plays with the algorithm. You know the algorithm accounts for volatility, not IV, but volatility in the market. So the faster things are moving, the faster the stops move also. Okay, so again, there's a, there's a whole bunch of correlations that account for everything. I appreciate that. Thank you. I do like the. I love the product. Actually, it's one of my favorites because it it takes a little time and it takes it takes you nothing, and you don't have to do anything. You just sit back and relax. Any other questions? And uh, and I know that they're waiting for me to turn it over. I know I'm a little bit early, but obviously there's always, they always got something to say, and I might as well make room for somebody else to have their time. And I thank everybody for your time and for your attention. And again, just feel free to email me if you have any other questions at bub at bubbatrain.com. Here's my information right here. And David, I'll turn it back over to you because uh, I think I'm done unless there's more questions. Maybe they're not listening to me. I'll keep talking. <laughs> yeah, I said, 